<coughs> Woo! Okay. Woo! Jesus Christ. What's up, everyone? Happy Black Heritage Month and happy belated Valentine's Day. We are here playing episode two of your story. It is one of my favorite mobile games. I've honestly played it since high school. And we are reading a story by Melanie Brown, a black writer. Now, today we are reading Love Lost, Childhood Sweetheart's Key and Note. Reunited after 13 years, it's clear they have unresolved feelings. Is there room in the hearts for the love that first blossomed many years ago? Now, I got my red flag ready. I'm ready for put the all, to put all the flags on the plate. Listen, I don't trust no men on this app. I don't trust no men on this app. I don't trust no woman on this app. Everybody be cheating. But if you liked it, let me know and I can do more episode choose your story. Just let me know down in the replies below. And I won't wait anymore. So let's just get into it. If this is your first time reading Love Lost, then let me say thank you. I will say I read a little bit of the first chapter just to see if the vibes were popping. And let me tell y'all, we got mad drama coming. So without further ado, I present to you Love Lost. I understand. Yo, I'm gonna do my best not to say the F word. That's why I'm like, you know there's someone there, sis. Okay, okay. I don't know where you're going, but we're hiding. He's looking for us. He's looking for us and he can't find us. What's good? How you doing? How you doing? Boo! Okay, okay. For a child, you had a very grown yell. That wasn't funny. Please don't dare. Okay, so cool. How was it? But you were spying on me first. You made me break my strap. Sounds like you should have been minding your business. I don't know what to tell you. Well, exactly. You scared me, so I scared you. I scared you first. I don't know why you're creeping. You just got mad I got you first. I'm sorry for scaring you. I'm not. He need to learn. He learned this way. I didn't mean to break your strap. Now that you can apologize for. Oh, look, look, look. Key. Key, let's go. I'm not gonna, I wasn't paying attention to names. I'm not gonna hold you. I was not paying attention. Key. Oh, hi, Mimi. Key. Okay, so we're key. Key, wake up. Wake up. Okay, we looking good. We glowed up. I'm up. I'm up. This is the third time I've fallen asleep at work this week. Sounds like you need to get more hours in bed, love. My name is Kiona Pressure, but those close to me call me Key. I'm CEO and managing partner of Ken Key Gen Architect and Design. Key Gen is an architectural and interior design firm comprised entirely of period poo. Period poo. Maybe I should have just come out for women's history month. Hey, Kai. Kai from the intro. Go back and re- <laughs> Hello. Uh, what's up, everyone? Happy Women's History Month. Take that audio and put it over Kai in the past. Women's History Month. That's what we're doing this for. We're a small firm, but we cater to the elite. All right, everyone, listen up, listen up. Your bo big girl boss is talking. All right, team, listen up. As everyone is aware, Tess is getting married this weekend. Woo! Yeah, Tess! I wish it was me. I'm glad it's you, but I wish it was me. Tonight is the first night of the happy couple's three-day celebration. This is an exclusive invitation-only event. Tess has graciously invited a few of you to celebration on Sunday. <gasps> we get to go to a wedding. We get to go to a wedding. On Sunday, everyone needs to be at their best. CMD is our biggest client and Tess is like family to us. This event will provide an excellent opportunity for networking. Jen and I will also be preoccupied with our bridesmaid responsibilities. We do, however, expect you to be aware of your surroundings and cautious in everything you say and do. But let me be clear about something. You will be there for business purposes only. Otherwise, I would never have allowed Tess to invite you to the wedding. Am I clear? It's almost one key. You need to go home and pack. And don't forget tonight is the bachelorette party. I'll leave shortly. I'm waiting on the final RSVP list from Tess. I've already called Boris. He's downstairs waiting for you. But I need to, Kiona Marie Fresher. Get up now. All right, dang. No need to yell. I'm going. Okay, roses. Who are these from? Who are these from? Home sweet home. Okay, what? Whoa. Are we not in the apartment? How she got how she got two floors in the apartment? Okay, we're in the tub. I hate weddings. This is a big ass bathroom. Weddings are a reminder that I'm alone. Hey, yo. Same. Same. Despite the occasional fling, I haven't had real feelings for anyone since him. Hey Jen. So Tess one says. Oh. Y'all see what I see? Y'all see what I see? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just tired. Bullshit. I know you and I can tell when something is wrong. It's just... Wait, is that Mimi? Like I said, did y'all see what I see? Well, um, it's not what it looks like. See, what had happened was, of course, anytime someone says what had happened was, you know they about to go into a full-on story, and you're like, oh boy, you better buckle down. Well, it looks like y'all just finished jogging. Okay, sure. Anyway, we just came from jogging, and um, she pulled her hamstring. Then we came back here so she could rest. 
Mm -hmm. Jenny. Oh, she's speaking sex to you. Shh, I'm on the phone. You're no fun. Um, do you want to call me back? You seem a little busy, love. Back to what's wrong. And we've already established that I know when something is wrong. So let's skip the nothing. It's just that I never thought I'd still be over 30 and single. I mean, I've known what? I've wanted since I was 11. I feel like I failed. He, you've not failed. In fact, you're successful, intelligent, and immensely talented. You're the most beautiful woman I have ever known, inside and out. Give someone a chance to get to know the real you. Why is she reading me for Phil? Can you, Jenny, can you relax? Jenny, I seriously need you to get off my neck. On God, you're right. You always know exactly what to say. That's why I love you. Okay, now relax. See you and all that. I love you too. But I'd love you more if you got your fat ass out the tub and got going. Jenny! Oh shit, you, listen Jenny, you, you got your booty calling. Your booty is literally calling your name. You better go. Go help meet me with her sprain. I'm getting out now anyway. See you tonight. Okay, babe, bye. Jenny, you better go get, your booty was literally calling. You better go. She's right. I have to learn to trust and let someone in. I control my happiness. And if I'm real with myself, I'm afraid I'll never find that kind of love again. I swear I don't know what I would do without Jen. We became instant friends. And 15 years later, she's my business partner and best friend. She's my sister. I can always count on her to keep me uplifted when I doubt myself. Other than my family, I have never had a tighter bond with anyone. Except for... Listen, we don't need to talk about him. He's in the past. Stop it, Key. Not tonight. No thoughts of him. Let me get my ass up and get my shit together. Yeah, we're gonna look fine as... Come on, let's go. You look good. Damn right. I That's period, Pooh. You look good. Somebody's son is in... Yeah, that's what I said. I'm like, I'm trying to... I'm trying to destroy somebody's son's life tonight. Wow, Kiona, you look great. I know. Why, thank you, Sir Ralph. So you could f*** him right now if you wanted to. Kiona, sis. Look, he's staring at your ass. He's staring at your ass. Okay, Jenny, you look good. You look good. Hey, ladies. Well, it's about time. What in the hell do you have on? My fire fit. Why aren't you wearing white? I didn't know I needed to. I told you, test one is all in white. You didn't tell me shit. I told you when I called you this afternoon and, hmm, shit. You're right, I forgot. Oh, isn't that crazy? It's not my fault. I got sidetracked, sorry. I bet you did. Exactly, it wasn't me, period, poo. Exactly, your fault. So where's the blushing bride to be? Probably drunk off her ass. Here comes the bride. Okay, Tess, look at you. Would you stop walking off? Hey, Mars. Hey, Key. Well, I see someone started the party without me. She looks like she's living her best life. Give me four shots of DJ42 and Neho for everyone. Okay, I'm down for some tequila. I like tequila shots. Tequila shots. Let's get up for Tess. Yes. To Tessa and Justin. Cheers. Shalom. Hey, get it, get it, get it, get it. Hit it, hit it. Three shots later. So there, there are four shots in now. Or is this three shots in? Oh, 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 okay, get off the counter. I beg you, six shots later. Okay, so that's six shots now. Okay, get off the counter. I beg you to get off the counter. Please, please get off the counter. You're gonna bust your ass. Let's go dance. You're already dancing. Please get off the counter. See the... This is what I'm talking about. I'm okay. Hey, let me get you, huh? Ah, 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 look at us. Ah, 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 look at us. We shake it ass, ay, ay, ay. We shake it ass, ay, ay. Hey, T is that TJ? TJ kind of fine. TJ kind of cute. Isn't that your girl out there? Beat it. TJ kind of cute. Yeah, that's my baby. Listen, you ain't put no ring on your finger. I'm not your baby. Damn, we will look good together, though. I'm not gonna hold y'all. Damn, bro, she looking good. Here I come, sugar plum. Ew, don't be corny, though. At the seven shots of tequila, I zoned out. The cold air has crept under my dress from the ceiling and the floor. Oh, so you're horny. And the invasion of privacy feels so good again. So you're horny. Girl, I'm not... <laughs> Suddenly I feel a pair... Uh, wow. Suddenly I feel a pair of firm yet gentle hands grab my waist. Without turning around, I know that someone is TJ. He pulls me in closer to him, eliminating any space between us. He... <laughs> if I saw TJ in the club, <laughs> this is a dance that we do often. Both horizontal. Listen, I'm single as I don't got nobody no name.
fucking buddy in my life. This is not what singles look like. I already know how this night is going to end. Yeah, with you sore in the morning, you did say you'd be getting sore. Sugar Plum. I don't like that nickname, but listen. Listen, you could call me a pal. Buddy, yo, pal. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? Oh, look at him giving four head curses. Do you know what, you know what you're doing to me? <laughs> And just like that, my body betrayed me again. Ain't nothing wrong with some dick. I'm so weak. I swear the last time would be the last time. But damn. I can't think straight around TJ. Listen, he fine. Damn, girl, I've missed you so much. I was beginning to think you were avoiding me or something. Or something. I can't wait to get you home, Sugar Plum. Need a ride? No, I'm staying here at the hotel. I eat then. Let me run home and grab a few things and I'll be right back. That works out perfectly. I need to find the girls and let them know I'm leaving anyway. I'll leave a key for you at the front desk. Come on. I mean, I'm. Listen, listen, I'm all for TJ right now, but we all know TJ is not him. One more kiss before I go. I need to know who him is. Get ready for me. Oh, he said, keep it wet for me, baby. <laughs> Jen, you in here? Jen, I just called your phone and I heard it ring in here. So, you in here, love? Hey girl, what you doing back here, love? Uh, oh, Jen, damn, you just had some early. I'm not even going to ask. I just wanted to tell you that I'm turning in. Will you make sure to let Mars know, Mars and Tess know? Sure. Well then, I'm out. Love you. See you tomorrow. Jen, Jen, who you got at the club? Good night, sugar plum. That's crazy. Don't you use my name against me? Don't do that. Mind your business. I could be at, and don't, girl, don't make me ask who behind there with you. Exactly, whatever. Mind your business. I emailed you the final guest list too. Thank you. Why are you so stressed? She's gone. Who you got back there? Do you think she saw me? No. Now, where were we? <laughs> Woo! Okay. Woo! Jesus Christ. What am I doing? He's blessed, skilled, and has stamina. Listen! Men don't go out all three. I need this. Yeah, yo, get your shit wet. I deserve- Yeah, get your shit wet! Did she leave a key at the front desk for him? Okay, okay, Lace. Why am I even bothering putting on my good lingerie? It'll be on for a minute. Because you want you want to pretend like you look good. Put it put a robe on. Make him work for it. Put a robe on. What? You fell? You good? This is going to be a long night. Yeah, you're gonna get sore the fuck out. You're gonna get you're gonna get whored the fuck out. And I love that. I love that for you. He said, stretch and hydrate. <laughs> oop. And I oop. And I oop. I love how his name is Buddy in her phone. You'll never guess who I met in the lobby. Who the f did you? What? Tell you when I get there. Why are we talking? Ain't no talking. I better check the list before I forget. Click to read the guest list. Here we go. Click the highlighted name when done. Lyric Jackson. Who is that? Who is that? Is that him? Is that him? All right, we're just gonna move on. Chapter two, love lost. I have a lot of questions. I don't got a lot of answers. Episode two. Yep. Mature audience only. Yep, I, I need my... Who is this man? What is his name? Sorry, mom, I didn't hear you. Don't be rude, dear. Use your manners your daddy and I taught you. Introduce me to your friend. I, what's his name? Listen, we all knew TJ wasn't him. We knew TJ wasn't him. Who did he see that? No, it's already morning. Are you Lyric? Are you Lyric? Today is the day. Who the f 
fuck is note? I'm not ready. For what? But I have to go home. This is definitely a lyric. Why the fuck are you called note? Who is she? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He look good as fuck in this suit. So you're going to leave me? Who is you? Candace, I'm not having this conversation anymore. You've known for months that I'm leaving. And you've known for months that I don't want to move to the States. Do you not love me, Mon Amour? Oh, they're in France? Question mark, question mark. I care about you a lot. But as much as I care for you, I can't stay. You're just going to throw away what we have? Yeah, because you're only for now. Candace, I need you to be okay with this. Well, I'm not okay. I'm, I'll never be okay with you breaking my freaking heart. Damn. Well, that went well. Yeah. I knew Candace didn't want me to leave, but she agreed to come with me. Oh, so she agreed and now suddenly she's taking it back? I don't understand. Sup, kid? Who the f*** are you? You kind of cute. When do you touch down? Uh, I'll be in about five. What's the play for tonight? We're partying at the Heavenly Hell Casino. We have a private area reserved and strip... Stripper, 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 stripper. I was trying to think of a song about strippers and I couldn't think of one, so I'm saying stripper, 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 stripper. Ooh. Ah. Please, no strippers. Ah, oh, you run the fun. Hey, don't judge. Remember, I met my future in the strip club. That's why I forgot Tess was a dan- Oh! You're Justin that's marrying Tess. Did you know your girl's cheating on you? Although you're not ready, maybe someone new is what you need. I'm telling you, this woman is perfect. So, so, so... So, hold on. So, we're Tess's maid of honor. And I'm assuming that Note is Justin's, um, what's it called? Best man. And we knew each other as kids and fell in for each other then. But none of our friends know about our... I'm confused. It's been 14 years and I still can't bring myself to be with a hazel-eyed woman. I know I sound saw. Hell, I feel saw. Every time I see a pair of hazel eyes, I think of her. The woman who broke... She broke your heart? I need to know what happened. <gasps> I'm headed up the chain... I'll meet you at the bar. Is that? Sir, you didn't think you wouldn't get recognized? Yeah, that's him. Oh my God, it's Lyric. He finest. I'm not gonna lie, seeing them stand next to each other. I thought TJ was fine. Lyric fine. Hey, I know you. You're TJ. Why are they both famous? I followed your career since you were in college. Damn. I sound like a stan. No worries, man. The respect is mutual. I too am a fan. Damn. Both of our mans together in one spot. Ooh, hate to see it. He's next door. All right, brother. It was good to meet you. He's next door. It was good to meet you. But my sugar plum is waiting. Don't keep sugar plum waiting. Peace, brother. Time to get ready. Where are we going? Did I get to pick your fit? Ooh, I do. Okay, let's see. One. <gasps> you all right. Okay, okay. You can never tell a guy they look good. They ugh, Relax, you're all right. Okay, so we're out here. It's a gentleman's club with strippers, right? Is that Justin? Sup, B? Who the fuck is Benny? All right, Mr. Playboy is in the building. It's him. It's the guy on the right. This is, this is, he's the one. V. Oh. That's cute. I would have been here sooner, but I had to fight through all the groupies trying to get in here. V, let me introduce you to my boys. Fellas, the fiery tongue, blue hair beauty is Vinay. V is the owner and proprietor of the Heavenly Hell Casino. V is, this is my best friend and best man. Oh no, introductions are needed. It's Lyric Jackson. I'm your biggest fan. I doubt that. It's a pleasure to meet you. I assure, I assure you, my Sherry, the pleasure is on. Okay, sir, you little flirt. Lyric, baby, if you need anything, ask for me. Ooh, well, on that note, let's have a drink. Cheers to Justin and ending his life. Who? To Justin and Tess, I mean. Cheers. Cling, 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 cling. Stage one of intoxication sobriety. And just like that, I end my 11 year sobriety. Then why the f are you drinking? Two drinks later. Euphoria. I'm feeling the effects of the alcohol kicking in. Mellow me. I forgot the effect alcohol has on my body. Sir, why did you drink? Four drinks later. Oh my god, the girls are fighting. The girls are fighting. Six drinks later. Confusion. I'm deep in my feet. Bro, you're just a sad boy. Bro, are you why are you such a sad boy? Boo! I can barely stand. 
This don't make no damn sense to be this drunk. Why did I get this wasted? Why did you drink if you were 11 years sober? I'm gonna call it a night. No, come on, just one hand. You know I don't gamble. You know your good luck charm. Just one hand. One hand, then I'm out. You don't have to touch the hand either. You could just be there for him. You don't have to gamble yourself. Damn, baby girl, would you back up? He is taken. He is getting married. Don't you want to go to somewhere more private? He is about to get married. What I want for you is to leave me alone and go somewhere private with soap and water. Damn, he said you're dirty. I'm here for lyric anyway. Okay, and what made you think that I wanted you? I can have any man I want, can you? Because you couldn't have me. You smell like you've had it. Damn! Let's go, Spice. Damn! That's rude. Honestly, someone called me Spicy Tuna. I'm offing myself. It's over. You ain't hearing from me again. I'm done. My apologies, sir. How may I help you? Thank you. Because I needed a sister kids and she wasn't giving it to me. I've misplaced my room key. I just need a duplicate. I'm in room 304. I feel like that's not the right room. Why? Well, I feel like he's going into the wrong room. Hmm, this is odd. I reckon sure that a room 304 is registered to a Kiana Fresher. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And he's going to remember that our man CJ wanted to 304. Oh, shit. Could you repeat that? Yes, sir. I said room 304 is registered to a Miss Kiana Fresher. He here? No, don't throw up in the lobby. No, Lyric, no. Episode three. Now that they both know that each other is around, I just want to see what happens there. Okay, so this is when we found out and we passed out. Lyric Jackson. Notes coming here. Okay, so she freaked out. And then we saw he threw up. And they both know that each other's around. I just want, I just need to know. That's it. That's it. I've been standing on the spot for the last three hours. I can't stop looking at the guest list. Yep, notes name is really on the list. I wonder how he knows Tess and Jess. coming i said i'm coming okay so it's the next day did we not do anything with tj then what the f why are you wearing that why must you yeah why are you so loud and why must you dress so loud yeah it's morning your outfit is hurting my eyes and my ears listen i'm all for pride but bruh you know every day is pride day for me period poo i love that for you but bro uh i know you and tj are freaky but when did you get into the rough stuff what are you talking about what did i do that was so rough Oh, she has a bruise. I just realized she has a bruise. I'm talking about that big ass blurple bruise on your leg. When did that shit get there? That didn't happen during sex. That bastard TJ forced himself on you. I don't care who he is. I will cut off it and feed it to Mr. Cat. This bitch is crazy. I wish I could blame it on him, on sex. My clumpy ass fell while stretching. Nothing happened. I was too drunk. Mm-hmm. I hate you. Wait, 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 I just realized something. If he's the best man and she's the maid of honor, that means they have to walk down the aisle. Well, hurry up and get ready. We're meeting with Ari and Tess and Mars at the spa. Okay, give me a second and cover up that bruise. Okay, we look good, we look good. But how, listen, if we go in the water, the makeup's gonna come off, is it not? Oh my God, Ari, I can't believe you've done all this. It looks beautiful. Everything is absolutely stunning. Tess is gonna be so happy. Thank you. Let me show you ladies the rest. I'm just waiting for them to see each other. Are they? I, I bet you they're not gonna see each other to the end of the time. That's just gonna make me so mad. Good afternoon, Miss Christian. Hello, Kiona, dear. This is Justin's mom, right? It's so good to see a friendly face. And please call me Justine. Jen and I just finalized the last minute details for tonight's ceremony. Is this all for the Indian part of the wedding? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah, so this is definitely Justin's mom. Well, good afternoon, Jennifer. You know, Jennifer, it's proper etiquette to greet your elders when you encounter them. My apologies. How are you, Justine? It's Miss Christian. Why are y'all so disrespectful? Is it because she's LGBTQ+. Mother, you're... Yeah, I knew that was... Wait, Jason? I thought his name was Justin. Is Jason like his older brother? Mother, your room is ready. Jason, where are your manners? Unlike some people, you were raised properly. What the f*** is wrong with you, Justine? I wish I could say it was nice seeing you both, but I'm not a liar. Damn, tell her like it is. He, I'll see you at the spa. Period, poo. Then the old witch said, is that for the Indian part of the wedding? So Tess is Indian, right? Sorry I'm late. I would have been here sooner, but Jason cornered me. I'm sorry for leaving. I had to go before I snapped. Ever since she found out I'm a lesbian, she's been a total bitch to me. She actually said me going, uh, being a lesbian is just me going through a phase. I figured it was, I figured it was prejudice. Christian, party of four. That's us. 
If you ladies will follow me, please. So Tess, I was looking over the final guest list and I saw the singer Lyric is on the guest list. Is he performing at the wedding? No, he's not. Thank God. He's in the wedding. He's Justin's best friend. Shut. Shit. Freak. Damn. I thought Benny was his best friend. He is too. They're all best friends. Lyric was Justin's first artist when he started CMG. They go back almost 15 years when they both worked at Downtown Records. I'm surprised you even know who he is. I don't. I just know today's ceremony and dinner is private. I was curious, that's all. Bro, he is so damn fine. Jesus, be a cup of ice, a fan, and a mop. He gives me the sweets. Sweats? Sweets. Sweats. And he has the sexiest gray eyes I've ever seen. At this point, I'm not listening to Tess. I can't lie. She's pissing me off, gushing about notes. He's not my man, but I'll be damned if I want to hear Tess going on and on about him. Did you hear what I said? I'm sorry, I dozed off a little. Say it again. Say he's moving back to the United States. And according to Justin, he finally dumped that clout-chasing bitch Candace. Candace? Who the f- It's Candace. Who is Candace's wife? Oh, hell no. She's his young, beautiful French model girlfriend. And she's also a sneaky, lying, manipulative gold digger. Wait, you're not talking about the Victoria's Secret model of the year Candace, are you? Yes, that- I don't know what that word is. I don't want to know what that word is. I feel like that's a really bad word. It's been almost 15 years. Of course he's moved on. Just be glad he's not with Casey. Who the hell is Casey? Who is Casey? What's so important that I have to miss my ma massage? I know you and I aren't best friends and we've never hung out one-on-one, -on -one, but I consider you a friend nonetheless. So as a friend, I need you to be honest with me. What? I saw you and Tess in the coat check room last night. Oh, snips. Oh, snips. Y'all weren't sneaky enough. Oh, snips. Oh, snips. Oh, snips. Oh, snips. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no. No, no. Mars, let me ex. No need to explain. Like I said, I consider you a friend. But Justin is like a big brother to me. And under different circumstances, I would tell him. Hell, I should tell him, but I won't. Cause it will break his heart and I will not be the reason for his pain. You need to understand that I'm risking my friendship with Justin by keeping the secret, but you have to end it now. But I love her, Mars. Oh God, oh my God, no you don't. She's getting married today, 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 today. So is this where you disappear to? When I walk in, their hush tones stop abruptly. I can tell something is wrong. Everything good? When I look at Jen, her guilty eyes and body language give her away. She's holding her head down, avoiding eye contact, and nervously scratching her arm. Not to mention she is unusually quiet. When I look at Mars, the customary and inviting warmth in her eyes is gone. Instead, it's been replaced by narrow, rigid, cold, and deadpan eyes. One thing is clear. Something happened. Now isn't the time to figure it out, though. Hmm. Move your asses. We have a wedding to attend. I've always thought any garment worn out of duty or respect to religion, tradition, or modesty would feel like a uniform. But wearing the sari, I'm shrouded by the most luxurious silk fabric, the color of a thousand sunrises. That looks gorgeous on you. I don't understand why I can't wear my black dress. Cause bitch, this is, a Indi this is half Indian half. <sighs> I'm annoyed. With all due respect, Justine, it is inauspicious to wear black to a Hindu ceremony. So what's the problem? That means you can't do it. That's what exactly what it means. You can't do it. I'll see what my son has to say about this. Your son is getting married to me, ho. It's a Hindu ceremony. You can't wear it. You know you still have time to run. Please don't tempt me. Yeah, your mother-in-law sucks. All done. I'm glad I didn't pick that uh that that hairstyle because I almost did. I almost did pick that hairstyle. It's some of my best work. You look gorgeous, girl. Well, ladies, I have another appointment. I'll see you queens tomorrow. Y'all look so good. My sister, you look stunning. Justin is a lucky man. Yeah, you heard me say that, right? Come on, ladies, now let's get information. Let's get it, let's get it. Let I don't think they're gonna get married. Key, wait. I'd like a word with you. I don't think they're gonna get married. Incorporating my heritage into my big day was very important to me. Can't thank you enough for giving us the idea of a fusion wedding. Although I haven't seen my parents in years, I miss them. And them not being here hurts. But on a happier note, I wanted to ask you, will you stand in for my mother during the ceremony? Oh. <laughs> That's so freaking cute! That's such a big responsibility! 
absolutely i'm honored turn around i want to give you something i'm gonna cry <laughs> i would cry too i would absolutely cry too oh tess it's beautiful i had the jeweler replicate the necklace your mother gave you it's a token of appreciation for everything you've done for me oh they're so cute it's times like this that I really miss my mother. She would calm me down by singing to me. She had such a beautiful voice. Well, I'm not your mother, but I am your friend. So I'll do something I haven't done. Any are you gonna sing? Are you gonna are you gonna play the piano? I'll sing to you the song my mother sang to my father on their wedding day. At last? Um, that's okay. I can sing. Yeah, I've known you for 12 years. I've never once heard you sing. Well, today's your lucky day. Now shut up and sit down before I go home and you marry without me. Yo, there's no, it, yo, what's the chance that lyrics in the hear are singing? Oh, Key, that was beautiful. Why the hell have I never heard you sing? To tell the truth, you're not human. There's no way one person can be great at everything. Oh, that's a conversation for another day. Right now, let's get you married. I'm going to find Justine. Knowing her, she's wearing a black dress with a veil. Yeah, you're a soon to be mother-in-law. That sucks. You'll go, I'll be right over. I have to go grab a headscarf. Yo, right? Lyric? Yup, 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 Oh my god, yup! Yo! Oh my god! I knew he would hear it! Oh my god, I knew he would hear it! I don't know I reacted that way. I was just shook. I was shook. Be careful, I think Tess is close to discovering your real identity. That voice, that unmistakable voice, that deep, smooth, and silky baritone voice, that voice that's haunted my dreams for the past 15 years. N no. In the- ah! There's no way! There's no- No! Wait, 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 so, so many questions, so many questions, so many questions. Cause didn't he say that he broke her heart? But then why was he like fondling her face like that? And I, I, the minute she started singing, I'm like, yo, Lyric's gonna hear her and show up. That's why when I showed the film, I'm like, yo, he's gonna show up behind her. And then yo, did y'all see how good he looked in his fucking garb? Oh my God. Anyway, y'all, that was Love Lost by Melanie Brown. Amazing story, I can't believe this is where i'm leaving it normally i do try to leave read before four to seven chapters but this one was longer chapters which you know i love to see if you want to see chapters four to seven youtube maybe we'll see i don't know it's up in the air but anyway if you're watching this on youtube thank you so much for the love and support i don't know if you're seeing more of this than what i'm doing right now but maybe you are maybe you're not i don't know back uh, go bye